Hi everyone. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is the accounting for associates, or at least the essential part of accounting for associates. Um, the first thing that you normally cover in um, a subject like corporate accounting, um, or any sort of consolidation subject, is looking at a situation where a parent has control over a subsidiary and the accounting that's required to consolidate that subsidiary within the parent, um, or not the parent I should say, but within the group accounts. What we'll be looking at um, in this guide is a situation where the parent doesn't have control over um, another company, but rather a parent has significant influence over another company. Now, WSB 128 paragraph 3 actually defines significant influence, and in essence, it's this idea of um, the power to participate in the financial and operating policy decisions. So there's a lesson in terms of the absolute power that they have, but they do still get, or the parent, I should say, still, still does get a say in what happens with that particular company. Um, 128 does go on uh, to talk about a presumptive test of 20% ownership. Um, and again, like with anything in, in the accounting standards, um, it's not a bright line rule. So 20% on its own um, may be suggestive that, 20% or higher on its own may be suggestive that um, the parent has significant influence over that particular company. Um, but again, you need to look at other factors, um, board composition, uh, executives, you know, a variety of other things that may come into play. If uh, there is significant influence and if um, the investee company is identified as an associate, then we use the equity method. And that's what the remainder of, of these videos will be looking at.